it's Sanj, and I'm going to teach you how to use the TNFNDS resampler properly because I know a lot of people do not know how to install it properly because it's weird and it's not just a little standalone exe. You need some other files to go with it to get it to run properly. I'm pretty sure my Twitter just beeped. Whatever. Ignore it. Um, so... Um, a, a few things about it, because when I explain this, it you might not even want to use it, or you may not be able to even use it with certain Utaos. Like, first of all, um, you can record sounds for Utao two different ways. You can record them stereophile, which is like the double channel, or mono, which is a singular channel. This resampler does not work with stereo. It solely works with mono. Two, it also does not work with a lot of flags. It uses gender flags, which is the G, G flag. Um, it accepts A flags, T flags, O flags, zero flags, and I think B flags. Um, and also E flags, but the E flags have a different function in it. Um, it changes the cycling rate because the TFNDS or whatever it is, I call it Tiffins or whatever, I don't know, I'm weird. Um, it does things differently. It doesn't pick up on background noises, like it, it cycles more realistically and um, also it doesn't stretch out the note and slow it down. It continuously cycles the end of it. So like say if you um, say if you like Oto it wrong and you don't do the, the cutoffs properly, then it's going to cycle and there's going to be an interruption in it and it's not going to be a normal sound. I'll show you that later on. Um, you, you'll like, you'll physically hear it. It'll sound really dumb or like really abrupt. So, um, so anyways, um, mumbling or rambling, whatever the word is. So first what you're going to do is you need to get your downloads and shiznes. So there's two right here. I will post them in the description because you'll kind of, uh, I don't know, need them to do it. <laughs> okay, anyways. So the first one is the TNFNDS DL. And you know, you got to get that. And then, oh, hold on. I think, oh, 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 look at this. Okay. Yeah, I already got it. Okay. And then the next one you need is the FFTWDL, whatever that is. Um. Okay. So... So you cl literally, when you click on this link right here, when you click on this, it's literally going to like download it automatically. Like it's not going to bring you to a site. It's just going to be like, bam, there it is. And it's going to be in a zip folder and it's literally just the exe. Um, the next one you need is the T uh, or the uh, whatever it is. I explained it a few seconds ago. Okay. So it's going to bring you to this site. It's like, okay, so it's kind of confusing because it, it this program literally is not originally meant for Utao. It's a C++ type engine type thing, which is usually used for like visual processing stuff and like GNU stuff. And I really don't understand it. I, I, um, I was telling my aunt about it. She works with Java and shit like that. And she was like, oh yeah, we use that or something. I don't know, some kind of stuff. But, um, so depending on what kind of computer you have, um, I don't really know. Like I have a 64 bit computer, which is, it's a newer computer. Um, so, I mean, you either want to get the 32 bit or the 64 bit. I have 64. So I do that. I think most, I think just about all Windows 7, Windows 8 are 64. So go for 64 if you have those. If you have, if you don't know, just swing it, I guess, and hope for the best. So you're going to download those. And now we get to see my cluttered fucking desktop. Oh, I swore. Oh, well, deal with it. <laughs> so um, here they are right here. I mean, you, there's lots of clutter and art and stuff. I'm kind of scaring, scanning through and hoping there's nothing weird. <laughs> um, uh. <laughs> So anyways, um, so you see TFNDS and you see the blah, 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 blah thing. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new folder and you're going to want to name it, uh, you're going to name it T N hyphen or underscore F N D S. Uh, whoop, I named it wrong. T N F N D S. Jesus, son, just suck at this. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Okay. So first extract the T N F N D S. Okay, that's nice. Go away. You literally only need to you, you you can extract all of it, I guess, but you really only need that. So go to extract two. Then you would like to choose your extraction path. So go to your desktop or wherever the hell it was. I'm trying really hard not to swear. Um, click on that. Oh, would you look at that? It's done. Uh -huh. Okay, next. Um, that right there. Double click. You're also going to need... Um, assuming you know how to use Utau, you probably have 
like zip openers and raw openers because we use those a lot in this community you're gonna want all this shiz biz up in his so click on that go to that right there extract it okay so that's all settled ahead that's literally all you have to do because a lot of people think that you just you're just supposed to like just use the resampler which is right there because no you're not supposed to do that it that actually it doesn't run by itself it needs the executables to go along with it so i've already got utau open um i'm gonna use juni's urbanized bank for that because i literally only use the tfnds with juni i recommend that you use it with high quality utaus because here's another little thing i should have also said it doesn't work with every voice bank like if you have a lower like i'm not saying your utau is bad but if your microphone isn't of the highest quality or if it's of a lower quality this resampler it either won't play it at all or it will give you really not staticky but kind of these gargled type transitions between the notes and it's not appealing and it i can't be it really can't be helped it really comes down to microphone quality so you're gonna want to find your thing i already have it set up in here so literally i'm just gonna use the one that i i might as well do the one no i'll do the one here okay so so yeah so click on the folder that says tn fnds and then you're gonna click on the literal the literal exe like yes click okay um so yeah like i said you can you the flags the flags it will work you know it will do like g i don't know g plus 12 or like which is the gender like male gender plus 12 to make it more masculine or g minus 12 which will make it more feminine it uses b i have no clue what that does i really don't use flags um it'll use some i sorry i don't use flags i'm really not much help i think it i think it uses y0 also i think there's i think there's like a few more flags that it will run but um and then there's also the e flag which the e flag in this like i said it changes the cycle rate thingy i'll or that's what i call it i'll show you how that works in a sec so let me just you know what let me show you a comparison so um Utau. so 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 here is the normal resampler this okay i'm probably gonna speed this part up because it's literally gonna take a little while for my computer to render this so if all of a sudden if you see like brrr, it's because i sped it up in sony vegas to deal with it <laughs> okay so if you notice, it's kind of got that little gargle in the background. You can hear some little, like, static... No, I guess staticky pops. And also, it kind of distorts on transitions with heavy pitch bending. So, yeah. So, there's that as an example. So... With the Tiffins, or the TNFND. Just call it things. Okay. So... Try it with this. So if you notice, that was much, much, much clearer. Um, like I said, it uses normal cycling. Now I'm going to show you what I mean by cycling. Okay, see this long note right here? Okay. I know. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you do it wrong. Because it this resampler also requires a decent oto now if you notice here i just opened my oto editor and see how okay you see right here the part that my mouse is swirling around like the transition of the um i believe this is an auto so this is an otori that's the the elish r sound of the re the re um say if it's like this because see how it's the note kind of starts to decay a bit there and it's not consistent like it is over here like this is all the same level but then when you get here it starts decaying and changing a bit you'll notice that if it's like that and i try using this the cycle is not going to be the same i know i know i know okay you heard it it was like i know i know i know, I know. okay because a lot of you are going to download this and you're going to like come across something like this and you're going to be like oh this resampler is a piece of crap it's not a piece of crap no offense but it's probably your oto that's being a little crappy 
not trying to be mean or anything, but mm, it's not the resampler's fault, is it? So, what you're gonna do is, like I said, you need to set the autos in a more proper fashion. So, like I said, cheat forward a little bit, right? Be so you want to put it, like, where the decay starts. And what I mean by decay is decay is a musical term for, like, the quieting of a note. So, see how here it's kind of normalish? You want to do it about there. So, do the I know. See? And you... you, you it's kind of a weird example. That wasn't the resampler making that, oh, oh, that was a pitch bend in the actual UST. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let me just switch to another voice bank or something so I can show you something. Uh, this is just one of those kind of resamplers. So, yeah, he sounds good with it. Uh, this is one of those kind of resamplers that you literally don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. You could Okay, now you did notice. Perfect example. Right there. I think. Sometimes on higher notes, because there's so much strain, or also sometimes on loud vocals, it may cause a little bit of that kind of fuzzy thing that you just said but again that usually has to do with the um what i've noticed is that's usually th has to do with the microphone not the um some microphones pick up on humming and stuff like that and different things um you usually can't even hear it when you're mixing you will notice it um <laughs> it's like okay you heard there it's Background noise is a little bit more prominent. It's not the best with quieter voice banks. Like I said, that's why I use the EGBFT or whatever the friggity foop that voice bank is. Uh, I mean, the resampler is. So use that. Um, it works good with just about every style or form of voice bank that I have encountered. It works great with multi pitches. Cause um, I don't know. Just fuck around with it. See what you get. So. Yep, hope this made sense and my voice didn't annoy the fuck out of you. Yep.